surprise. <laughs> yeah, this is this is all about discipline right here and not trying to get too much. Just go out and, and try to do the exact same thing you did in the first round. All right, now Group A was significantly slower than Group B. Joey Logano was fastest in Group A. That lap would have been eighth overall of the ten. Alex Bowman was slowest in Group A. Trying to get arced out a little bit too far. It touched the rear, put the front back into it. Bounce off of it a couple times. Just like you said, sucked him in. Second lap was within one one thousandth of a second, but not faster. So here's Ross Chastain, who ran a 40, a 22.40 in round one. And we heard Ross talk earlier about waiting a little bit to go out and practice and how his car was needed to pick up some speed. Well, he found a whole bunch of speed going into under the first round of, of qualifying. Put himself in the second round. Not at all what he was looking for. A lot slower. It got a lot better on this first time. Maybe he threw that first lap out the window, Kevin. Prepared, knew, knowing it was going to be this second lap. Got back to the gasket. Can he stay with it? A good pickup to a 48. That's within eight one hundredths of what he ran in round one. Kyle Larson with a 35 in round one. That was always the hardest part for, for me when I qualified here is trying to determine. It's, it's such a detailed racetrack. It's all about hitting your marks and, and not making mistakes and being able to get off of that break as soon as you can and, and have the car rotate to be able to get back in the throttle and stay in the throttle and qualifying. And how the tires come in are part of that equation. I mean, it's just sometimes it felt like, well, they just, they just came in faster the first lap than the second lap. So a 46, that's 11 hundredths off of what he ran in round one, and he equals that. Now 43, picks it up a couple of hundredths. And that's so, what we were talking about, Clint, is how fast do you go knowing that and knowing that it's probably going to be slower, but how much slower? See that damage on Alex Bowman's car. Ty Gibbs with a 22-35 in round one. Now, so far, the best of the drivers that qualified have fallen off eight one hundredths. Again, all these cars were from that group A, and I just think the track was a little bit different for all these teams. I feel like the pole setter is going to come from the group B. Ooh, Gibbs with a 79. Not the lap he wanted. Yeah, that first lap definitely seems to be worse. A lot worse than the second lap in this round. Tires have set quite a while for these teams in this group A. This is a, you know, a long turnover period for those tires, long cycle. And that's exactly what they do. They'll go through a cycle as they cool off, heat up and cool down. Usually, what's that cycle mean? Typically tighter. So that's a 24 one hundredths fall off from round one for Ty Gibbs, the worst we've seen in Group A. Here's Joey Logano. A 33 in the first round is what he's trying to get close to. Well, we see another first lap that's way off. Now that first lap was half a second off what he ran in the first round. Yeah, and this is what we talked about with the Fords. Can they go out and fire off in the second round? That was always the part that I struggled with here was the Fords will fire off great on sticker tires, but when they get those scuff tires and have to go back out for the second time, the cars just get way tighter. Joey Logano with even more of a fall off. Kyle Larson is atop the board after round two, Group A. This isn't Charmin. No wonder I don't feel as clean. Hurry up, Dad. I'm trying. This cheap stuff is too thin. Here's Charmin Ultra Strong. Ah, my bottom's been saved. Woohoo! With its diamond weave texture, Charmin Ultra Strong cleans better with fewer sheets and less effort. What's everybody waiting for? This? We all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? And for a shower fresh clean feeling, try Charmin Flushable Wipes. Hurry 
up and try new Little Caesars Crazy Puffs. They're four fun-sized puffs packed with layers of pepperoni, cheese, and sauce, and only $3.99. So what are you waiting for? Try them now. You heard him. We need to go try these new Little Caesars Crazy Puffs right now. Stop doing it! Drive like the wind, Debbie. Enjoy delicious new Crazy Puffs on the go for just $3.99. Only at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Just because a hotel says it's dog-friendly doesn't mean a dog will find it very friendly. Get an Airbnb that's friendly for everyone. To advance the future of golf, PGA of America chose T-Mobile for Business with a 5G-powered innovation hub to analyze player performance and expand coaching tools. Take your business further with America's largest 5G network. Our Wi-Fi works in every room, even the basement. Creepy down there, but true. Does this help? No, that actually makes it way worse. Get wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi on the Xfinity 10G network. Wanna leave works all day, so I can keep working my magic. Just wanna leave. 12 hours of uninterrupted pain relief. Aleve, who do you take it for? And for fast topical pain relief, try Aleve X. Nothing scary about Energizer Ultimate Lithium, the number one longest lasting AA battery. Round two, group B. And Martin Truex will lead off after a 22-22 in round one. And it looks like from what we just saw in group A, that's going to be hard to back up. Yeah, we also learned during the break that we almost lost control of this whole broadcast. And Clint does nothing to listen to myself or his wife. So it was close. Yeah. You, you, you just did that to me. Yeah, I know Laura's listening. This is fantastic. Fantastic news. Come on, Shrex. Bail me out here. Diamond and arc the corner a little bit, maybe. Ooh. Oh, whoa. There's that crown that we talk about sliding over the top of. And I know you said that this was going to be the group, but this is going to be a tough task for Group B with the amount of cool off time compared to Group A for their tires. A 57 on the first lap for Truex, and that is a fall off of three and a half tenths from the first round. Well, let me tell you something. It isn't because the tire fall off. I, I believe it's because of the sun coming out. I think this track is heating up in very quickly right now. Sun's finally burning through the clouds. Yep. It's going to make this track hot and slick. Yeah, we saw Kyle Larson pointing skyward as uh, the sun popped through here. Todd Gillen, 22.54. He ran a 20 in the first round, so that's the same fall off as Truex. A lot of two cars in a row sliding, sliding off the two. It's big time loose. It's going to be a great top 10 start, nonetheless, for Gillen. You can just tell the sun shining on the race cars. It's for sure. Evident in a big way, it's going to change this racetrack. Austin Sendrick, 22-18 in round one. Way up out of the groove. Yeah, you saw his car. There's a bump going into turn one that goes all the way across the racetrack, and as he crossed that, he had to correct to the right. Cars just don't seem to have near the grip in them they did the last time they were in them. And that's pretty normal here from, from the first round to the second round. You know it's going to slow down. You just don't know how much. 22.66 for Sendrick. That's a fall off of almost half a second. Kyle Larson liking what he sees right now. He's hoping that sun stays shining bright on the racetrack. Down to Bubba Wallace and Chase Elliott to challenge Kyle Larson for the pole. And Bubba did a great job of hugging that yellow line in one and two. This is by far the closest we've seen anybody to Kyle Larson off of two. Can he hold suit down in three and four? 
Rotates back to the throttle. I think he's going to pay the price. Pointed the wrong direction up off. Had to lift at the wall. I really like how disciplined he is, though. He's taking what he can get out of the car, putting that car right against the yellow line through one and two. Parked a little more in three and four, trying to get it down. Got back to the throttle, still pointed the wrong direction on the exit. Needs one, two one thousands to move up a row, and he gets it with a 53. Down to his teammate. Wallace is fourth, and now it is Larson and Elliott for the pole. 22.43 is the time to beat. Chase Elliott falls off three tenths from round one. He'll be right there with Larson. Great. Within exit. thousands. Yeah, let the car roll a little bit. It was a little slower to the gas, but when he went to it, he went back wide open. He's ahead of him right here, folks. Going to be close. Whoo, barely. Two one thousand. Still got a lap. Same thing on exit. Got back to the gas. Very affirmative. Back in the lead down the back stretch. Marked it in good in a three. Oh, he touched the apron right there. It's going to pay the price, too, because of it. Yep. And that is the difference. The second lap is slower by eight one hundredths, and Kyle Larson has won his 17th career pole and his first of the season. Regan? Well, Mike, that's right. First pole of the season for Kyle Larson as he gets congrats from the team. Kyle, you got everything right in that second round of qualifying. How much does this set your day up to be good for tomorrow now? Uh, it definitely helps for sure. I think the number one pit stall here means a lot. So, yeah, happy, happy to do that. Happy to be in group A for sure. And then the sun coming out a little bit there helps uh, also. So, um, yeah, Chase got uh, real close there. So I was a bit nervous. But, yeah, this an uh, awesome day for Hendrick Motorsports, uh, HendrickCars.com, Chevrolet, everybody involved. Um, good to get another poll. So we'll see if uh, it translates to tomorrow's race. Thanks, Kyle. By two one thousandths of a second, Kyle Larson beats teammate Chase Elliott. It's an all Chevy, all Hendrick front row for tomorrow night. Well, that was good to see Group A succeed right there because that will carry over through the rest of the day. Uh, Hendrick, Hendrick front row. My guy got on apron a little bit. I had you beat. Group B. All right, race day coming up next on FS1, and then the Toyota Owners 250.